it. So today I'm actually doing a Q&A, um, just how I've gotten started, and just some basic like questions that I know off the top of my head that people keep asking me. First off, I'm 23 years old, I actually just turned 23 years old. Second off, that's a Bengal cat, not a Savannah cat. <laughs> that's like a go-to question. What nationality am I? I'm actually mixed. Um, my mother is German, she was adopted, and my dad is Indian or black, if you want to say, or Native American, if you really. But I really just say German and black to be direct with you. How long have I been online? It'll be two years this April 5th um, I've been online. What were my biggest mistakes coming online? Obviously not realizing that you cannot get more than 10% chargebacks with a payment processor. <laughs> they will shut you down. <laughs> you need to be careful with your payment processors. Once I started making money online, how long did it start for me to actually see my money back? Actually only about two weeks. Um, the first business opportunity that I was in was CPA. so. It actually, I was on a bi-weekly payout schedule, so I got paid every two weeks. I always tell people how long does it take to see money. It takes you as long as they take, it takes them to pay you for me. Because if you're really consistent and you bust ass, then you will never have any problems. Really? We're doing a video. I am a full-time college student. I go to UCF. It's the third largest school in the country, so you're probably not going to find me if you try to go find me. My first business model that I started in with was CPA marketing um, on some of the top CPA networks and then I eventually moved into e-commerce and when e-commerce kind of slowed down after quarter four, I jumped into MCA because my friend was like, hey, I'm making like 4K a week with MCA and I'm like, what's MCA? And then my boyfriend at the time was like, oh, MCA has like been here forever. It's dumb. And I was like, it's dumb. He was like, yeah, but do it anyway. And I was like, okay. So I started doing MCA actually in January. <laughs> in January um, and I'd be a year this coming January I made a thousand dollars my first week obviously I'd already been making um, six figures online I make six figures with e-commerce and CPA I do not make six figures with Motor Club of America I never have claimed to make six figures with Motor Club of America I probably should add up all my deposits from MCA but I have never added them up I, I, I'll actually do that before the, the year is up but Motor Club of America is not how I make six figures. I've made six figures multiple times with e-commerce and CPA marketing. That's actually, traffic is actually my strength. Um, website building and running traffic as far as native ads, banner display ads, Google display network, and SEO. Whereas MCA um, was just something to do on the side. And I eventually expanded Wealthy College Kid to be able to not only teach well, um, myself and other college kids, but anybody, literally, I have people like 54 years old, down back to 18 years old, making money online, using Facebook advertising for the MCA business model. Um, so it's really, really solid as far as like a side income. Would I ever scale it to be like a six-figure business model? No, because it's too time-consuming and I'm spoiled as far as just putting a dollar in and getting three dollars back. Um, how do I stay motivated to, to do this all the time? My biggest motivation has always been just self-motivation and getting up in the morning and wanting to be the best. Um, it's never been like to pay for anything or to do anything. It's just been like, like, I mean, maybe my cats, I really didn't want them. When I was in high school, I really wanted a hairless cat. I have a hairless cat. He's just not around right now. Um, my biggest inspiration was just those small time high school goals that I did want. Um, so after I finish training with MCA, should I do e-commerce? I don't actually recommend e-commerce to anybody who's not making at least $1,000 a week just because um, you need budget for testing products and it's a lot more in depth as far as making money online. Are you trying the Forex system? I do do swipe trades um, with Forex. I am in IML, so I do like swipe training and um, you know, watching the market sometimes on the weekend, but it's copy and pasting methods. I'm not calling the trades myself, so it is pretty simple. So I do have my hands in a lot of things as far as um, making money online. For college student, which of your courses would I highly recommend? If you're a brand new, like completely out, like have never done this before, I am gonna start off with MCA. Or if you are somebody with a bigger budget who's just not into advertising, make money online opportunities, e-commerce with Amazon is a great way to start. Um, Amazon arbitrage is really good, which is where you arbitrage things around you and Amazon fulfills them to the customer, meaning you send them to Amazon and they take care of everything. For someone who's new and ignorant to working online, what's the easiest thing to start with? MCA is definitely the easiest thing to start with with making money online when you don't really have a budget, you're new, and you don't really know what to expect and you need something that's going to step by step teach you how to get paid every seven days.
Do I do one-on-one -on -one training? I will work one-on-one -on -one with my test group for e-commerce just because it's quarter four, but as for any of the other business models, I do not work one-on-one -on -one with them. I've just gotten really, really big very, very quickly. And with finals coming up and still being in college, I do have to remember that my time is my money. I'm pr time is precious to me at this point. What do I do with people thinking that it's a scam? I just tell them to Google it. Like, you never have to worry about it because Google will answer all the questions. You can Google e-commerce, you can Google Facebook advertising, you can Google, I, I post income proof every single day, not, not to mention I have four cars, I've lived in two penthouses, I have over $10,000 with pets. Um, just the proof is in the pudding at the end of the day, so you know, you get to a point where you just don't feel obligated to show somebody a bank statement every time they ask. What is so important to you? What's important to me is my siblings. My siblings are my heart and soul just because I feel like we are closer to anything else. And graduating is also really important to me because nobody in my family has ever graduated. I will be the first in my family to graduate college. So it's like pretty, it's a pretty big achievement for me. Am I short? I get that a lot. Of, I'm actually five foot in real life. Um, I'm very, very tiny. I know um, I talk a lot of shit and I talk a big game and there's a lot of what we would call outrageous income claims, but I back up all my income. I back up my all my lifestyle. I back up everything that I do online. Every time I talk about MCA, they say it's a scam. It's so frustrating because you're obviously popping. Um, yeah, documentation beats conversation. Just show that it's accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Just show that you get a W-9 in the mail, like you get a 1099 to file taxes. Like documentation will always be any type of skepticalism. It will always be everything. That's why if, like you can show your deposit slips. If you can show anything, like just show it. When you're first starting off, you obviously can't show your own, but you can show other people that are doing it. How many people that sign up actually want to see proof of your income? Maybe like one in a million. <laughs> like, maybe, there's always gonna be one, but I mean, as far as like day to day goes, like nobody ever asked me for income proof anymore. I think MCA is better for a college student just starting out to make a thousand dollars a week and just slowly get to that savings account that you need with at least like 10 bands in it. Um, just to pay your bills and just start moving in a different direction, whether you're working at the same time or you're in class full time, like it just gives you that starting block that you need to keep your head above water. How do you find the time to hold hands? A lot of people that sign up, I hired somebody. If you guys have signed up on my MCA team that you do know, Donna is my right hand man. She's chief of education and holds everyone's hands through training and answering those MCA questions for you. I'm doing an event March 24th through 26th here in Orlando, Florida. Um, if you are interested in learning any of the business models that I do do in person in a sit down method in small breakout groups that we will actually set up campaigns and products together in the breakout groups, um, you can actually go to my website for more information on my event here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. If you want a fast track to a thousand dollars a week, I actually do a duo with my sales coordinator, Rochelle. Um, she shows you how to close all the leads and I do the MCA ads for you. What is MCA I came across you? Is this the ads? Yes, this is the ads. Motor Club of America is the name of the company. You're paying for the publishing rights, which is $39.90. Then you go into my free training, which will show you how to set up a website. We'll show you how to set up a Facebook fan page so you don't have to post it on your um, Facebook wall. You don't have to chase your friends. You don't even have to tell anybody you're making money. And then Facebook advertising is how you get those people approaching you to learn how to do it. So you get paid an $80 commission for every single sale that the ad makes. What is your reach goal? How do you find people interested to gain traffic to learn it? You know, Facebook's advertising is highly, highly targeted. Um, we can target behaviors, demographics, income, credit scores. So it makes it very, very easy to find people interested in a product or a business model or anything that you can possibly make an advertisement for. How have you tried Legal Shield yet? Um, I don't want to do Legal Shield just because I don't really like MLM. Um, I don't like MLM business models just because I do feel like they're like cookie cutting. Like, I don't know. I just like making traffic. I don't like team building really. Like, it's not really my thing anymore. Like, when you make money, the team building will come with it. So it's like, why focus on team building when you can just run traffic, make your money, and then when you're making money, all the people come. So, how important has branding become to your success? When I branded myself, I just looked in the mirror. I never ever was like, oh, I need to make a brand. Like, I never ever did that. I just made something up that I could use as a domain. And I just made something up that I could relate to myself when I look in the mirror. 
you know, and there's a fine line between arrogance and being humble. Like, of course you want people to know that you make money. Of course you want to stand your ground and be like, no, like I built this shit. This is my table. This is everything that I've made. Um, but you do have a sense of like, just understanding like I was serving iced tea just like you two years ago. I was just like overdrawing my bank account two years ago. My dad was fixing it. Like. I was just driving a Volkswagen two years ago, so there's no point in me kicking you while you're down just because you're in a Jetta right now. You might not be, you might be in a Jaguar next week. You have to know a lot of people to be successful at MCA. No, you don't have to know anybody. Um, you can be a bitch all you want to anybody and everyone with any business model just because you can run traffic. You don't have to talk to people. You don't have to depend on anybody. You just run traffic and the traffic creates those sales. Traffic being online income. How do you start a duo? If you want information on the duo, um, just inbox me and do and the word duo and Rochelle will get you set up with that. How do you get people to come across your business page? I just run Facebook ads. Um, anytime I want somebody to get eyeballs on anything that I am doing, I just run Facebook ads to whatever I'm doing. What were some of your biggest bumps and mistakes besides, besides, besides the payment fiasco? Um, the biggest bumps in my journey was payment processors and saving. Saving is very, very difficult when you have $15,000 deposits coming in every day. Like, do you know how fast, that's like, after a week you're over $100,000 in your bank account that you didn't have a week ago. That's really hard. I always tell people, when you start getting money, you're gonna get itchy. You're gonna get so itchy because you're gonna itch to wanna spend. Ugh. Spend whatever you want. You're gonna be like, you're gonna look at something like, I could use a new couch. I want a new couch. Like, you're just gonna get itchy as far as wanting to spend and I'll tell you, fight that as hard as you can. Because you have no like no business breaking like bread right from the jump. Like I didn't start buying designer stuff like Cartier rings and stuff like that. I didn't start buying designer stuff um, almost a year after I was making six figures. Like I was stably stably had six figures in savings, stably had four cars, stably everything is paid, no debt, no nothing, credit score, 756, everything before I started going into the mall and dropping a check. Like I spent like ten thousand dollars um, on my birthday. <laughs> Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you learned something new and hit me up on Facebook for more information about Wealthy College Kid.